Hi guys, the last thing I'll do in um, VirtualBox for Linux Mint. So the Sardinia server icons have been dealt with. And I'd like to one last thing. I want to go to the browser. I'd like to go to github.com. Eric Dubois. And then I just made a copy paste of the previous Linux Mint. So this is like the Arclix Nemesis, a rising thing. What do I want in Linux Mint? So two minutes ago, I've put it on there, but it's just a copy paste. So let's see if all these scripts and all these things still work. Now, I must say, I'm not using Linux Mint. So it's important for you to know that, that I don't use it. It's just for an hour or two to play in a virtual machine and that's it. So git is not installed, sudo pacman ah sudo app install <laughs> git and then arrow up eh? control plus control shift plus yeah what's that control shift and then we have a plus okay sudo the so git clone we got ourselves some information, install keys and repos. What was that? Uh, display. Beautiful colors. This is a bit too difficult to read for me. So we're gonna import Vivaldi keys if they're still valid. Uh, import Google for Chrome, for Brave, for simple screen recorder. Atom, Atom is out. Atom is no longer by Atom. Visual Studio, Spotify, we can have a go, right? Another delete, save. Well, I'll better do that on the other system later on, but you know, this is what I would change. Install, and then later on, we're gonna install all things. So if I see Atom somewhere, it needs to go. Save. Remove things that I don't want. Transmission, hex chat, Thunderbird can go. And that installs it as H if I want. Syntax highlighting, auto suggestions, and the Robbie Russell. Oh, why is it as H? And for the rest, some personal stuff, configurations maybe, deconf. Okay, that's not important for nobody. And there's a dep package if you want Discord. That's probably a link to download for Linux, dep package. And you have Discord as well. So as you see, this is nowhere as complete as the Arclix Nemesis, which is also a rising thing. But um, yeah, it will probably become smaller and smaller since I do not use Linux Mint. Let's see what this causes. Apt key is deprecated. There we go. So depreciated. Don't use it. It says manage key ring and trust one another. Use apt key. Okay, adding the repo. Apt key is deprecated. Visual is getting case, but if I get in the key. Alright. Now what's the fun of having this all on GitHub? To the left, I have a virtual machine. To the right, I have a real machine. So I'm gonna pause the video, change all things, push it to the internet and git pull it here, right? And that's a super easy way to work. Pausing now. Right, so that's done on the real metal machine. Push it to the internet, it's on GitHub. And if I launch, if I do get a new one, so if that's the old one, and I go back up here, right mouse click, open terminal, arrow up, arrow up, get it again, then this is the new code. Oh, do we have melt? sudo apt install melt. Okay. <laughs> Whew. So we can have a comparison. Now the right mouse click won't contain melt, 
never is, never does. But progression. Well, in the meantime, while it's progressing, I do believe I've added melt to the list. Yes, it is. So there is a list, a second file that installs melt later on. So now we have melt and we have directory comparison, drag and drop, compare and exactly the same thing. So all the changes I've made here local on this virtual machine, ah, I want to kill you, can, are also now on the system. So this one can go. We just run that one. Now we're going to go for install all kinds of things and also remove things. So that's that. He's doing his job. What is he doing? He's going to get Git. Git is our, was already installed. A simple screen encoder, Chromium, Sublime Text, Telegram Test, Tunar, Melt, x 4 Terminal. Because I like probably F12 to drop down. OBS Studio, Dconf Editor, Gimp, Inkscape, VLC, VirtualBox, or XVT or URXVT, Flameshot, maybe a Git version, I don't know, D Menu, Vivaldi Stable, Google Chrome, Ray Browser Code, and Spotify Client. It's exactly what I like and need. And then you let the machine do its work. Eh? And you see it's coming from Ubuntu. But first we go and have a look. Okay, you see all these Brave browser, all the repositories that we've added. Here it says in, I think that's ignore. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Google keys stored in legacy. I'm not gonna figure out how that works, the legacy keys and all that. That's up to you. Study Linux Mint. Like I said, after this video, I will not run Linux Mint again in 2022. But that's the fun, right? Learn scripting, make, learn how to use GitHub. Because after a clean install, uh, there is always this option in Linux Mint to update and upgrade. There's a tool for that to move from one to the other but yes there's this but right if you do it with windows if you do it with mac it's always the things that are hidden away in the cache in the config in the local there's always rubbish and that's left leftovers i rather like to install windows and mac and linux with a clean install empty again clean slate and then the thing is you won't see less of these strange errors that nobody seems to be affected with ah choices right choices i'm gonna go for some theming while he's doing because we were going for a purple kind of thing because of the wallpaper here and we do have a purple kind of thing as well here oh well, why not yellow this look right purple but we have a surfing, come on, a surfing Dracul. And I've changed this theme for, for this here. In here, there were some icons not okay. Now they're okay. So this one was wrong and that one was wrong. And there was a broken reference and deleted and all fixed again. This is the look I would like to have for today with this wallpaper. In the meantime, Vivaldi is there. Let's have a look at the things that have been added. It's too bad we can't drag this a little bit bigger, like in XFCE. So I'll we'll just go over the accessories. So the RXVT is new. Yeah, it's, it's always tricky to open a menu while it's installing things, that's normal. He's writing stuff away. Flameshot is new, GNU is new, Image Magic was already there, I think. Uh, Inkscape. 
Google Chrome is now here. Next to Chromium, Telegram is here. Vivaldi is here. I'm not interested in that. In Office stuff, Visual Studio Code is installed. OBS Studio is here. Simple Screen Recorder is new. And that's probably it. Where are we at? Microsoft VS Code. Visual Studio Code. I guess we need to do Control H. Where did I put it? There. Ultimate. So install and remove. Spotify client. There was more to the, the end already. If not the end. You add more to the list. Voila. Spotify. Music. Uh, sound. All right. It's there. It's working. And you need to log in. We had a Discord download, did we not? Download, Discord. What was that again? I would say pseudo pacman minus you, but <laughs> Eric, you're typing it. Pseudo apt and then install Discord. Uh, not gonna work, I think. <laughs> Discord. Let's just type this. See what we get. Yeah, it's there. It's it's literally there. So I need to figure out how that works. Man at a local thingy update install remove install something locally. Satisfy search show list. Damn it. Install package version target release. Help me, internet, help me. So, apt install local package. How to uh, Linux size is a good website, always, always not, but often I'm on here. Wget install. Ah, oh, it is with a slash. I'll try again. So, ls, it's here. Yes, check. So, sudo apt install disk. This is it. This is a strange thing. I would like to auto complete, but it does not do that. So, that's why I think it's not going to work. To two dot dep. All right, so it's the bash out completion that's not there. So you know, ooh, was always right, almost writing. Pacman right, sudo so apt install bash tap tap. Yeah, this tab works. So I guess locally it does not. Ah, I need to upgrade, let's see as well. sudo so apt upgrade. Update, upgrade, and now it goes doing more stuff. All right, Discord. Discord, there he is. So they're gonna work as well. Super escape, no. Control shift escape, no. No key bindings of ours. That work. Voila. Do I have to change anything to my scripts? That's what I'm thinking now. Not really, we're just waiting for the update. Huh? And that's this little sign. This is the GUI, the graphical user interface. And that's Mint Update. And the, the fun thing is always, the mint update can update itself and that's 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 right cool <laughs> do you want to switch to local mirrors often i don't but if you say yes 
you'll get choices. So now it's coming from this seems to be the American flag I think and that's a British flag so if you think you can speed up your system this is from Belgium he's testing from Belgium what is the fastest Ubuntu server Ubuntu 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 long list and then you decide right okay apply same here you better do this before you update of course but all good i'm done playing around the linux mint so that's it for me oh yeah there's something interesting i can show you so we've added some things additional repositories here they are so Brave, Google, Microsoft, Spotify, Vivaldi, those keys are in as well. So we ex have expanded basically our package base. Where do we get our stuff repository? So in small, very small portion, this would relate to the AUR on Arch. That's where we get our packages. Not built, but the package, right? And here is this actually built. All right, I'm out. There might be something, one last thing, this Linux kernels that people ask. So have a look at kernels. If you say, oh my God, they're at 5.15. Well, check out what's possible. And um, here, what's uh, safe on Linux Mint. All right. Cheers and have fun with Linux Mint Cinnamon.